That's the SBI uh, top management, Dinesh Kumar Khara, talking to us about the results. Krishna and ASP is lead analyst, BFSI, HDFC Securities. He's joining us to take some questions. He's been positive SBI for a long time. Krishna, great to have you with us here. Uh, thanks very much. Uh, how would you uh, rate the earnings? One or two things which really stood out for you. And uh, how will how is the stock performance from here likely to be? Go on. Yeah, hi, very good morning. Uh, so, I mean, spectacular set of numbers, a bumper quarter. Uh, what was surprising was asset quality continues to be fairly benign. So it's just a reflection of where we are in the trade cycle. And uh, the fact is all of this is happening despite despite the fact that, you know, that there, are, there are no trading gains. It's a fairly weak environment for treasury portfolio. Uh, so just on core earnings, I think this is a bank which is now finding a fairly uh, stable way to do a 0.8% ROA fairly quickly. So uh, it remains the biggest elephant uh, in the system. It is beginning to dance. It's obviously reflecting where the environment is. Um, and we expect uh, I mean, put continued re-rating in SBI. Yeah. Hey, the re it's been a high conviction. Sure. Time. Sure, sure. Uh, so I'm sure you heard the management as well a while back. What stood out for us is that there is about three and a half lakh crores of loan visibility going forward as well. So it looks like this loan growth, uh, you know, this high teen loan growth is something that they can sustain. Uh, how much of this is in the price already? And what is your target price now? I mean, would you raise your earnings estimates and target price on the stock? Uh, so a little bit as of this morning, we have uh, we've already gone I mean, public with our estimates. And so uh, we have made some changes, some tweaks to our FI23 numbers. And that essentially means our target price now settles at around 700 bucks. We were at about 670 bucks earlier. So it's about a 4% move from there. Uh, but but yeah, I mean, in general, in general, Sonia, I think the system is growing 17%. You can't have SBI, SDFC Bank, ICICI Bank all growing at 20 Right, so something will give. I think you know the environment. Uh, we believe product growth will essentially leave off of maybe two or three percentage points. Uh, so in general, we are working with about a fifteen percent credit growth number for SBI. I think that uh, we are currently overshooting that for SBI. Yeah. Mm. Hi, Krishnan. Morning. Uh, you know, SBI's numbers are good. Uh, what about Bank of Baroda? If the elephant's <coughs> going to dance, the music's going to play. Will the other ones as well dance? Uh, so as I said, the benign credit cycle is not going away. You have seen CEOs after CEOs telling you on the earnings calls that we never know. I mean, we don't know when this music might stop. Mm -hmm. So maybe other six months to go, and there are a lot of other PSU banks which are sitting on significant surplus, you know, what liquidity, right? So uh, they have a little more elbow room available to them compared to the large private sector banks. Private sector banks have to go out in the market, raise mm -hmm. money, only then they can probably lend. So, yeah. yeah. Okay. I just had one question on how the corporate uh, part of the portfolio is looking because the commentary that we got from a lot of small PSU banks is that the corporate stress has gone down in a big way. Uh, Yuko Bank was telling us uh, you know, that last week as well. Um, how are you looking at it now? And in, in terms of asset quality, uh, what do the trends look like for the PSU banking space on the whole? Very benign, very benign asset quality trends right now. I mean, you have, I mean, so much of the bad news has hit the ceiling and the roof in the last three, four, five years that, you know, post COVID, there was a risk of environment, hardly anything to lend. So, of course, we are in a street spot in the cycle today, Sonia. So, there's no denying that. Only, only caution that we are raising, we are flagging is we don't know how long this will last. So, mm. Okay, uh, so you need to be mindful of that as well. For now, uh, there aren't any red flags, but will momentum continue? Sustain is the big question. Krishnan, great to have you with us here. Thank you very much for your time. Appreciate it as always. We'll take a break here. We are back. Mitesh and uh, Sudarshan join us for technical.